All right, on the contender, we saw a sensational performance from Mexico's Manuel Torres. He went out there and knocked out Colton England in the very first round. It was a beautiful display of violence to which Dana White, of course, had to give a contract. Now, uh, the debut of Manuel Torres will be taking place May 14th. He's taking on the experienced Frank Camacho in an absolutely unmissable fight. And if you missed that first round knockout from Manuel El Loco Torres, then do yourself a favor and check this out. Fight. Touch the gloves quickly, underway. England in the red, Torres in the blue. Night kick to open things up. Whoa, beautiful front kick to the face there. Already Torres is looking so much more composed than, than I've seen in his past fights, albeit you know a lot of the striking I did see was from years back, so I'm not necessarily surprised to see that he's really put things together. Well, that's one of the things I noticed about England. When he strikes, he, he kind of pulls his shots. He doesn't use his length or punch to the full range that he has. On the flip side, Torres really mm. does. You can see he's longer, you see he's snappier, mixing up with the calf kicks already. England needs to get back into this fight. And that was a nice kick. So far, using his reach nicely as he backs him up with a two-punch combination there. And I gotta say, from the footage I saw of Torres, it looks like he's cleaned things up a bit because he was kind of wild and all over the place. You know, a lot of the times it's hard to find footage on these. And at this stage of your career, you're always improving. Between every fight, you make, you know, you make strides and advances in your skill level. This is what England needs to do. He's going to put him on the back foot, maybe sprinkle in a takedown. And he does have nice takedown, does England, and I love yeah. how he's using that jab here. Anything he can do to create traffic before looking to level change and get this fight to the canvas, I think that's what he's going to be wanting to do here, Michael. But so far, as you say, having a tough time dealing with that reach, that very long jab and those long lead weapons of Torres. Yeah, and it's not just that there it is, yeah. as the takedown. That's what he needs because it's not just the range and the diversity of attack from Torres, it's the speed as well. Each of these athletes kind of unlikely pro fighters. They didn't grow up with a wrestling background or doing a lot of martial arts. England was a big football player in high school and started using kickboxing to rehab from an injury, get back in shape. And they said, turns out you're pretty good at this. There's an eye poke oh, here. Herbie I don't know the has not called that. anything. Oh, oh no. And now England is down. This and Torres is on top and that's going to do it. Wow, man, there's more to the story than this, but for Manuel Torres, as soon as he smelled blood and saw the opening, he takes advantage of it, and it's another first round finish for El Loco. Yeah, sometimes the knuckle goes right into the eyeball. Oh man, it like kind of happened as he was framing away. Yeah. I think he just kind of, I mean, he did the right thing. You can't fault Torres. The referee never steps in, so you fight on. If the referee doesn't say anything, it's fair game. And, and if we assume there was no eye poke, that was a beautiful finish, great performance, nice left hook, right through the guard there, that sits him down, and then just swarms all over him to get the finish. I mean, listen, that's what he came here to do. Dana's on his feet, and rightly so, great performance. Referee Herb Dean stops the fight at two minutes and 10 seconds in round number one. You're winner by TKO to the strikes, Manuel Torres.